Today, we're making simple and easy chicken and dumpling. The first thing that you're going to want to do, cut up your chicken and you want to use chicken tenderloins or chicken breast, but the important thing is that you do use white meat for this. Now, if you're on the homestead, you might want to use your own chickens from the homestead, but we haven't got to that point on our homestead yet, so we're using bought chicken. So you're just going to keep cutting these up. You probably need about a pound of chicken. Now, when you cut these in small pieces, it really doesn't take long. Um, you'll boil these for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's done. Okay, so we're done cutting up our chicken and now we're gonna add chicken broth. We're gonna add two 32 ounce chicken broth containers to this pot. So we're going to be adding a few spices to our chicken and dumplings. We're going to add some black pepper, some seasoning salt, a few basil leaves, some minced onion, and regular salt. So we're going to add some black pepper. You don't want to put too much black pepper. It will make it too hot. Um, I'm going to put a fourth of a teaspoon. Don't forget to turn your stove on. Fourth of a teaspoon of regular salt. Fourth of a teaspoon of basil leaves. Half of a teaspoon of seasoning salt. About a half a teaspoon of minced onion or a little less. Leave this on medium heat and let it come to a boil. And you're going to cook this chicken until it's done. It usually takes about 20 minutes. Once your chicken's done, you've got to remove all your chicken from your stock and put it to the side. After you remove your chicken from the stock, you may want to add some more stock or you can just add water because you want to have enough water to cook your dumplings. So now we're getting ready to make our dumplings. What we need for that is all-purpose flour, baking powder, milk. To make great dumplings, I use half milk and half chicken stock in my ingredients for my dumplings. We dipped a half a cup of stock out of our pot and we're gonna set that to the side and let it cool off for just a few minutes. So we're gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour. You're gonna save a bit of this for dusting Half a teaspoon of baking powder. So we have our half a cup of chicken stock. We're going to add to make a cup, half a cup of milk. So you may have to add a little flour so it's not real sticky. So next we're going to put our dough out and roll it to 1 8 inch thickness. I seem to have misplaced my rolling pin so I'm going to have to improvise which is what we do here and I'm going to use a glass. 
If you do not have a rolling pin, you can just use a round, flat glass. And you're just going to cut some strips. They don't have to be perfect. Before you add your dumplings, you need to make sure that you have a rolling bowl. We're going to add the strips of dough into the rolling broth. By the way, if you make this recipe, please let us know how it turns out in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, so we're just going to give this a good stir and you're going to let this cook for about 20 minutes. While your dumplings are cooking, you're going to cut your chicken or shred it. Now that our dumplings are completely done, we're going to add our chicken. We let the dumplings cook for about 20 minutes until they were well done. After you've added your chicken into your dumplings, you're going to add about a cup of milk. Now you'll bring that back to a boil and let it boil for just about five minutes. So now our dumplings are ready to be served. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.